Hi there, my name is Ashu from Noha Studio. Today I'm going to show you one of the scripts from DNA collaboration library in Maya. Uh, as you know, uh, MetaHuman released a new update which is sharing DNA file and uh, collaborating the DNA file in Maya. So first you need to make sure Python mail is installed in Maya for Python 3. Uh, so you have to check whether that's installed in your system or not. To check that first you have to run command uh, prompt as ad administrator and go to your Maya directory. If you can see here, go to the, your Maya directory into the bin and once you go to that directory and then run this this command then it will show you whether what version you have whether the version or whether your python mail already installed or not so you can also update the, that python mail using the command here I will provide you the link so uh, once you installed Python mail then you'll go to the metahuman which is you'll go to the github link and so I put my DNA collaboration folder here in my C drive uh, which is all files here i copy those files and create a dna slash collaboration folder and put all the files here then the next step is to make sure you have the compatible uh, python 3 document or python 3 files just go to lib folder then windows and copy all those files and go to your copy all those files and uh, go to in this directory which is in megascan library directory go to your document megascan library support plugin maya whatever version you have ms live link dhi lbs windows and python 3 then paste paste those and replace all the file here so that you can have a compatible uh, python 3 file uh, if if you have an issue running it so this is the way you fix the issue you have so replace all those so once you replace the file open maya so open Maya and make sure uh, the MS plugin is running as well, which is make sure that MS plugin is running. I'm gonna put it here. So once in that's running and uh, go to on the bottom right side, there is a script editor button and open the script editor then the next step is write down those all commands let me make make it bigger so write down those three commands the next step is go to your downloaded file which is you put it under c which is dna slash collaboration go to example then uh, so since we are going to run a dna viewer which is this file right click open with notepad and copy the command control a control copy and then let's let's create another python here a new python source type new python and paste whatever you copied once you paste you we have to change one thing here from these commanders what we need to change is line 25 we need to change the root directory so we need to change that one let me let me comment that one 
let me make it comment so we need to change that and let me have a new line and write down this root so so then paste this command which is this guy paste this command whatever drive you have for me i put the dna collaboration folder under c so i put c so make sure you put that one and i already commented that one you can delete it but i just comment it once that's done just control a select all your commands and run the script when you do that you should see the dna viewer so the next step is i will show you how to use this dna viewer script so once you run the script you'll get this window then let's load all the file needed here so first we need to give him the path of the metahuman which is you downloaded from bridge if you have a bridge account just let's, let me open bridge okay i'll go to my metahuman So let me I already download that one then I'll go to here and go to file then 8k asset metahuman and the name of the metahuman source asset so you need that directory so let's copy that directory uh, delete that and let me load that directory here then you need your DNA file to load into your script. So select the name of the your metahuman.dna, click open, then load. Then it, it will load all the LODs, just, just whatever LOD you want. You can select LOD0 or all LODs. So I select all LODs, then you have the build option what kind of build do you want so if you want to modify the mesh just select the joints to use to modify the mesh and you need the blend shape and the skin this will activate it whenever you uh, uh, you load the gui file and assembly script so but this will not be activated until you fill the rest so let's let's fill the gui pass so where is the gui the gui you can find it uh, on your c drive you remember you put your file in c drive right c dna slash collaboration on that folder go to there and you can go to data and you can find that GUI file. Open, see that GUI, the same GUI. Dot ma. The next file is analog GUI, which is says is analog GUI. Has you already feed it there. And the last one is after assembly script pass. Click on that. On the same folder, you can get after assembly script. Open you're done then the, the next step is click on process so if you can see here it's loading the meta human like that okay so if you can see here he's able to move those jointers because he didn't select give me a second because uh, he didn't select that rig logic i'll show you but if you select rig logic you cannot move you cannot do any movement here you can see you cannot do that so okay it's already done so it's completed the process process is completed so 
uh, let me close my script so I already get to my files I'm gonna close that one as well and let me go to my mesh or the head mesh So you can move all those joints and modify the mesh, uh, but you cannot, you know, use your control board. So that's you cannot do it here. But you can modify the mesh. So I'm loading. After I select the rig logic, I'm loading the MetaHuman again. I do the same process, just the same thing, everything is the same except I select the rig logic. Alright, so the loader, the process is completed, we don't need that and let's go to our head. Alright, so now if you select all those joints and try to move. No, it will not work. But if you select the face control board and try to move, or face control board is working. If you make it this far, thanks for watching and please subscribe for my channel if you want to see more and I'm going to try the other scripts also as well. And I will try to see, to read more uh, just to give you my background. I have zero knowledge of writing a script or using Maya script editor i never use my script editor so this is my first time but you know i search online a lot of things this couple of two days and i able to use one of the scripts so i think you can do that as well uh, if you have question you can ask me but as i told you i don't have a script knowledge if you ask me a difficult question i might not answer or i have to you know search and find a solution for it but you can try you can try it by yourself and you know let me know what do you think and thanks for watching bye bye